We have just finished the opening session here at the annual science conference in Halifax. And we're here with Jake's, Jake Rice from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Jake gave the opening lecture at the opening session. Uh, with the, um, and the name of the lecture was Size in the Seas. A new perspective raises questions, but does it yield answers? So, Jake, uh, does size uh, really matter in the seas? Among the places size matters is in the seas. And the easiest starting point to think about why it matters is the fact that in the sea, predators don't have hands to hold their prey. They eat things that they can swallow. That gives an immediate order to how species interact that makes predators of a given size behave similarly enough that you can look at the whole dynamics of how species interact in the ocean from a size-based rather than a species-based perspective and get a lot of insights that turn out to be verifiable when you go look at um, data from studies that have been done in the sea. So it gives a way to look at how the system works as a whole that doesn't you re require you to know everything about every species. And is this a new approach in marine science? Um, there's a history of being interested in the lawful distribution of animals of different sizes in the ocean. It goes back 30 to 40 years. The thing that's new is how dynamically we've been able to build models and link it to analyses of data to show that you can not just observe interesting patterns in the sea, but explain them by the ecological processes and the effects of fishing on the whole community in very simple ways of dealing with the problems. So do you think this will be the way of the future? There is no single way of the future, but I think size-based approaches are going to be used much, much more frequently as we begin to try to deal seriously with the expectations that exist <coughs> excuse me, because we've been taking and there have been commitments to take a more ecosystem basis to our ecological studies and to the science support provided to policy and management. And we're going to find size-based tools playing an ever-increasing role in meeting that challenge, which has proved extremely difficult to meet with species-based approaches. And there's also going to be a theme session on this subject? That will be going on in just a few minutes. And a lot of the most contemporary research findings, the will be presented at that session. My talk covered stuff that is already available in the specialized literature and just brought together in one story. But what we're going to hear over the next couple of days here is the absolutely cutting edge new, new insights. Thank you very much, Jake.